Hello everyone. Finally a Fiat video, I know, right? So if you like this, please make sure to subscribe um, and comment your um, car that you don't take out anywhere because you are too scared of it. Um, in this video, I'm going to tell you a bit of a story of when it got hit and I'm going to go through um, a few other things. We're going to get her started up. She should literally just ping straight up. So you can see, I haven't touched it in so friggin' long. I feel bad for the tyres because they were really good tyres at one point, but I'm probably just going to replace them now. Uh, main thing is just wheeling her out, starting her up, and then, um, yeah, and then obviously giving you a bit of a chat around exact some things I could not tell you about before. But as you can see, she's a bit dusty, a bit of crap on her. We can't really do much with that because I don't like wiping things off dry on the car. Um, a few little boo-boos since it's been in here, this, irritating. Other than that though, she's literally perfect, exactly as she was when I, when I stuck her in here. She has been wheeled in and out occasionally. Oh, there's them. I need them. Um, she has been wheeled in and out occasionally. You see, obviously I've got a few little bits in here. I've got an under tray from Ants that I need to put on. I've got this for the um, 827 Vitesse when it gets started. I've got my old bumper there, which is precariously placed. I've got that the headlining biscuit for the um wonderful maestro i've got the rover <laughs> plinth over there I've got maestro rear lights if anyone needs any of them let me know i've got a few other bits in here for my old radio which doesn't work but yeah anyway enough of that stuff i've got a microwave um anyway we've got loads of these wheels by the way because I, I went on a bit of a harding spree and i've got a full another full set of them with another set and a half of um, thingy mobile bits. Anyway, so you're not here for that. You're here for me to um, get in this thing and get it started up. So let's get to it. I've charged the battery. Well, the battery was on charge at one point. So let's see what she does. I just need to sort all this mess out. That's another th reason why I'm doing this. Battery on. And um, we have a few jobs as well with this as well, which will commence soon when the weather's not as garbage. Of course, you can see how good that still looks. Um, but we need to sort that slam panel out because it's ridiculous. If anyone knows the guy who sells these stickers, let me know because I really need a set of them. But yeah, it's just about doing that. And then I'm probably going to take it now, all the suspension and stuff done. And then I'm going to, um, you know, I'm going to actually take it out. But it's on sawn at the minute. It would pass an MOT, as it is, to be honest with you. But I like th this car's like my um, my Ferrari. <laughs> Do the crap one like but nah jokes i love this thing to pieces so i think i'll leave the, i'll put the bonnet down slightly put the batteries on at the minute so let's see if she fires straight up she should do and i will give you a bit of a note on why the paint's so good as well but got that as well if anyone wants that it's for sale but okay you often forget how special these cars are how special the keys are and stuff it's hard to think that this was sort of like a value proposition but what well, people said it was better value than the, the um or equal to the hyundai coupe when it came out but god damn it's so much better if you see did a bit of a no-no put my handbrake on like an idiot also put it in reverse look at that interior though i'm sorry for the bad filming but gosh damn in fact you can see obviously she's kept really well because this is a nice dry place for a headline is all nice interior is all nice and um, it's just a case of really cranking her up and rolling her out and um, i'm probably going to drop a bit of oil actually in the top of the um no in fact it, yeah it would have run it it's got a decent oil pump it'll <laughs> it'll chuck it up the top i'm just going to check underneath now because i have the world's biggest fear that i'm going to run over something so back in a second okay let's whack her on the moment of truth straight up Straight up, as usual. This car is a fucking revelation. <laughs> <laughs> really good oil pressure, as usual. She just, guys, oh look at the dial. I have missed this so much. My bloody clock is broken there. Let's go forward, straight, straight forward, straight out. There's nothing, nothing. This car always works. It's quite alarming. <laughs> Do my hazards work? Yep, the hazards are working. Very nice. Let's just spring her out of here then. So here she is. Out in the open air for the first time in a couple of months. 
and it's the first wet day she's been out in a year so she's probably not enjoying this well the brakes are a bit needed a bit of pressure in there oh damn how's this happened ew i need to sort that out yeah she's running she's running how the, this is the issue with starring cars you just you just get a bit of shit on them. A bit of stuff. It's, it's awkward when you haven't been and looked for a bit. It's a bit sad. I know I'm swearing on, so sorry about that. I just get a bit overwhelmed. There's a bit 75 over there for all of you that are here for that. So she's open, she's out, she's running. Looking outside, see if she's left anything on the floor. Nope. Dry is out. Wouldn't expect no less, wouldn't expect no more. Look at her. So it really is the case of just letting her run for a little bit. The, the wheels are shocking. I mean, they need refurbing. Wheels need refurbing. Um, I'm probably going to get some new tyres and some new brakes on her. Yeah, the tyres are shocking. <laughs> Poor thing. They just need pumping up, I think. But I'd... I'd I'd like to not think that they're getting a bit square. Looks like it. I shouldn't really hang out in here too long, as you can see, she's gassing a bit. Luckily, it is an open space, though. Yeah, it's not too bad in here. It's not a bit, a bit of rubbish about, especially that corner. That needs sorting out. Let's go check in her boot and see what's in there, because I can remember this car being a bit of a dump, a bit of a dumping ground at one point. Look at that interior. I hoovered her before I am. Um, Last one in there, so that's new. Cool. Wrapping paper. What else? Fiat toolkit. Bits from the 75. Adapters and such. Sunroof motor. Some that has not been on the car. <laughs> this is a bit of a peach. This one. So we don't put polyfiller on the car. Got some coolant. That one time when I was living in fear of cooling. Um, some of that, some of this. Some stuff in here. Every single one of my cars has an IKEA bag in it for some reason. Because I, I don't really like IKEA that much. So I've got a coat hanger. Yeah, this, this boot needs clean now, that's terrific. And let me just check one with the boot floor. Still dry, still nice. Not rotten. Usually they're rotten that bit. I just saw on my green one. No, this one's all fine. She just really needs a bit of a clean. But we'll sort that out when we get her get her out properly the next time. I hate my neighbour's garage. He's got a garage that falls for freaking minutes. Winds me up. Yeah, look at that though. These wheels need refurbishing. If anyone knows anyone good that can do them, let me know. Need the brakes soon as well. So, oh, the doors stop working. To be cool. Me and doors just like that. But she's looking, sitting pretty and looking all right. Look at that. A peach. The first time she's been out of that in a while. I ain't got any front number plates because I'm after some someone well, making me some replica um, plates from where she was from, which we'll find out. But she's not looking bad or the exhaust is not on the floor yet. It really is just a case of brushing all this stuff and sorting it all out. To be honest with you, I can probably wait a little bit for that. There's Fiat Coupe content. So update, I still have it everybody. The original Welsh plates from the VM thingy. It's got loads of stuff just hanging about in here. Really just ridiculous amounts of stuff. All with my previous address on, which is quite bad. Some extra lights up there, But yeah, anyway, so we're now on sort of the story bit of this here video. And why my paint is so good. Look at my paint. How nice the paint looks. Thanks, Domino. So yeah, I can actually release the release the footage now. Well, let's get it back in. Fuck that tire's horrific. Alright, let's get it back in. Um and we can talk about the incident. 83 thou there, not too bad. Not too much, not too little. Um get back in and obviously we've got the coupe floor mats we've got the leather leather seats that we put in it's things like this just make it this car so special they, these have always been so flimsy you can literally 
fart and they come off. Yeah, this car is a real special car and this is like my favorite of all of the cars I own. Jesus, shouldn't have done that. Um, yeah, let's, let's get it back in now. But as you can hear as well. She sounds all right. Yep, good little car, good little car. So now on to the story bit of this video. Um, so essentially what happened is, is I ordered a pizza. Um, I ordered a pizza from Domino's. It's been a year. Come come at me. I ordered a pizza from Domino's and they've admitted liability as well. Obviously they admitted liability, they respayed my car. <laughs> they respayed the front of it anyway. Um, so basically I ordered a pizza from Domino's. Um, weirdest combo ever, I know. The, this is somehow relevant to this weird story of how I got the best pizza delivery of my entire existence and also the most traumatic pizza delivery ever. So I ordered a pizza, it came, weirdest combo ever, if I can find it, I'll put it on the screen. It's literally so stupidly good though. And it's a bit expensive actually, I don't know what I was doing at the time. Um. Anyway, so I ordered this pizza, a Kashkai. this is obviously unbeknownst to me at the time, I didn't know any of this. Um, a Kashkai shows up, a black one, and appears to rub up against my car like some sort of weird metal cat marking its territory because it's been had its nuts chopped off i guess um anyway cash cars and dark balls anyway anyway so <laughs> um so what happened is is that happened he then goes up the street which you'll see on the video he goes up the street and then down the street and parks across oh no i didn't hit it i was across the street this is typical so we, of course, didn't know any of this. He then come, he then obviously gets out of his car and walks to my house wearing the uniform. I, I'm not showing that. I'm not showing the person um, as much as possible. He then comes up to the door, acts like nothing's happened, and then drives off. Um, so me being me, I um, literally check my cars every single day, um, except for that one time. I literally check these things all the time, unless they're in a secure place. Like, well, I do check them actually all the time. They're all really secure um so i then check the car and i'm mortified why someone has rubbed i just had my front bumper resprayed as well um absolutely gutted what is the words if you've ever been in that situation i've been in it multiple times and um, one time with a 75 as well just after i had that front bumper resprayed funnily enough so i went out saw someone had destroyed my front bumper the lovely paint i had done was absolutely just they ruined my entire day i was like i'm not going to uni ruined my day <laughs> I, I had a job at the time as well so i'm not just some uni student with loads of cars um so anyway we of course were quite pissed off because naturally this is like my crown jewel i was slowly getting it done and this has sort of accelerated it so i checked on the camera and lo and behold i see it and it was the perfect if it was just a normal person, like obviously not saying Domino's drivers aren't normal people, everybody's a normal person. Um, if um, if it was just a, an average Joe driving around and hit it, it probably wouldn't have gone further. However, because I clocked him and I got all the footage, and I'm the master investigator, by the way. And if you'd like to hear the story about my Mercedes and when that got stolen, and a few sort of things about that, and the MX-5 when that got stolen, let me know. Um, I'll include that as well. Because this car served a great purpose in the um, Mercedes saga. Um, it was just an incredible story. Really, really good. And really fucking horrific. <laughs> so anyway, so we um, we obviously found out it was him. We called out, we, I found the local branch of Domino's. Cooperated all the numbers, you know, magic, literally like Matrix going off, you know, calculations. Um, and then we found the Domino's branch and we went there I got the manager's number and he agreed to they agreed to pay for it all and it was the best pizza ever luckily because of the way this car is constructed they scratched <laughs> I say luckily I was I was devastated when it happened but then when I found out they were going to pay for it I was like very lucky thank you so they scratched the um, paint off of the literally we'll talk trunk out of it on the on the bonnet as well they took it off the off the um, the edge near the um, near the bumper. So because of the way this bonnet was at the time, um, the paint started lifting up a bit because it was out in the rain. So they essentially had to respray my entire bonnet 
because of what they did. So they resprayed the whole bonnet, resprayed all the front, bumper, everything. Perfect. Was well pleased with that. Um, and that is, of course, the story of my crown jewel of a car. And I know it's not... Um, sorry, my watch is going off. And I know it's not a turbo. I've had a turbo. didn't really like it that much, to be honest with you. Um, I prefer the power delivery on these, 100%. Maybe if someone else has got a turbo and they want me to, to have a go in it at some point, let me know. But this thing really is the, the power delivery in this. And the amount of money I've spent on this. And it, the fact it was my first car that I've ever sort of done up. And a dream car from when I was a kid is really something else. So uh, this car obviously hasn't had the best luck in its in its existence. But it's probably had the... the well, it's, it, hasn't, it hasn't had an easy life, but it hasn't had a hard life compared to the rest of them. So this car got broken into once and the radio got nicked. Who the heck nicks a Blaupunk radio out of a Fiat Coupe? I do not know. I do not know how they got in, by the way. It might be because of the dicky door that's decided it wants to break in because it breaks every so often. Basically, the little hook falls out. So, um, yeah, that's that. But this car um, has had that happen and the door got left open and it flooded because it was torrential rain that night. It was horrific. Um, and then, of course, it's been hit once, and that's it. Whereas compared to the other cars, like the Vitesse, that's had like the world's worst existence. It literally every day is torture. Every day is torture for that poor car. And the seventy five has been hit by a lorry, <laughs> supposedly, allegedly hit by a lorry, which I might show you. I'm just, gonna, I'm gonna have to, have to consult the boss if I can show you that, because it's a, because they never admitted liability. They basically just fobbed me off. Basically, just fobbed me off. It really irritated me, but anyway. Um, so that's that. This car is more or less done, like I said. It just needs the wheels refurbishing. I'm going to do all the brakes, because why not? I wouldn't mind some of the drilled and vented discs on it, if I can. And maybe see if I can grab some Brembo um, calipers for it, if that's not too much like hard work. Um, but yeah, hopefully in the summer, well, definitely in the summer, because I can't have it sitting here anymore. I, d I hate having this car sitting. Um, in the summer, we will get her out again. We will drive her and she can actually be used. So that's it, everyone, for this video. Thank you for watching. Keep watching. Remember to subscribe for more of this. And um, yeah, let me know if you want to see that Mercedes video or the other video because it's quite an epic journey. So see you later.